mechanized cryptography. Everybody, if you were buckled up before, buckle up now, we're working Enigma. With the arrival of mechanical cryptography machines in the 20th century, cipher complexity exploded. A person in ciphering or deciphering a message no longer needed to understand a cipher in order to use it, and messages which previously could take hours to encrypt were now enciphered almost instantly. Radio communication became an invaluable tool during World War II, but the ease with which transmissions could be intercepted meant strong encryption became vital. The German army chose to adopt inventor Arthur Sherbius's Enigma machine, which offered an unprecedented level of encryption. When a letter is pressed on the Enigma keyboard, it's a heart for you. Um, when a letter is pressed on the Enigma keyboard, an electrical signal flows into a scrambler disk. This disk has 26 inputs and 26 outputs, which are connected internally in a random fashion. So a signal entering at input one may exit at output 14. The signal passes through three of these disks, then is reflected so it passes back through the same three disks again before finally displaying the enciphered letter on a lamp board. Oh my God. So far, this is just a monoalphabetic substitution cipher. However, Enigma's strength comes from the fact that the disks rotate. The first disk rotates on every press. When it reaches a notch in the wheel, it will cause the next disk to rotate, and so the second will eventually cause the third disk to rotate. This means the machine is a polyalphabetic cipher which can cycle through 17,576 unique substitution alphabets before repeating. To make the machine even more secure, up to 10 pairs of letters on the keyboard can be swapped using patch cables and the scrambler disks can be removed and their positions set in six different configurations combined with the 17,576 possible starting rotations for the scrambler disks. The total number of initial configurations for the machine is over 15 septillion, something like that. Okay, great. Good. As long as the machine is set to the correct initial setting, it will decipher a message encrypted using the same settings. The initial setting is therefore the key. The German army used a new key each day and sent out top secret code books every month containing the initial Enigma settings. Oh God, what have we done? Okay, so this is the Enigma. This is the machine here. So you have your... Oh... Set initial rotations. That's lighting up what the letter is. You input your plain text. Solve the 10 pairs of keyboard letters. Great. Okay. Scramblers rotate on key press before signal flows. Scramblers rotate on key press before. So they rotate and then show the letter. That's what that's telling us, right? They rotate and then show the letter. This message was encrypted with a prototype cipher machine which uses a single scrambler and a reflector with the following internal wirings. Okay, so this is our this is our word. Z Y D and I. Okay? Z Y D and I. So let's do this. Okay, so the input output. So it went down to G. So scrambler one matching letters are wired together, okay? Reflector matching letters are wired together. Single scrambler and a reflector with the following internal wirings. Okay? So you input P and it comes out G, which means you have P, P goes down, P turns into T, T turns into, so then T goes down to here and turns into Z. Z comes back up and turns into, no, I need to go to F. Oh my God, really? Okay, so input output here. So you would input P, which would go down and that would turn into T, right? Because the scrambler would mix it up to T. Matching letters are wired together. Okay. Matching letters are wired together. So then T would go over to the right and be Z. And then it reflects it back up to Z, which turns into J. And then goes back up to J. Why would that come out as G? Because P goes down to T. P goes down to T, T goes to Z, and then Z would come back and go to J. We need to go to F. F is right next to that. If the scrambler shifts, how do we get it to be F? We need to get it to be F. We need it to be S, which means we have to get it to be S. P would have to either be connected to S to go to F, with F go up to G. The reflector doesn't move, if I'm understanding it correctly. T clicked backwards to S. 
When a letter key is pressed on the Enigma keyboard, an electrical signal flows into a scrambler disk. This disk has 26, 26, which are connected internally at random. So a signal entering at input one may exit output 14. The signal passes through three disks. So we're using one disk, right? Then is reflected, so it passes back through the same three disks or one disk in our first example before finally displaying the enciphered letter on lamp board. Oh! This is an example for what's happening with the first one. They both move. Look at that. They both move. Oh, they both move. So it's not that the letters are connected, it's that the wiring's connected. So this is our code and we need to get that to spell Enigma. Well, if we go from, we need to find the initial settings, but that's what, that's what it's showing us on the right side. It's showing us the initial settings, the initial, the initial settings. Um, and it's for some reason not quite adding up, but it looks like every single time we click it, right, it's moving. So they're typing this in, you can see that. It's type, type, and it types the amount, the amount of times. And then the last one, it types for the final code. It's resetting to show us again. These are the internal wirings. This is the, this is the, this is our initial, our initial gig here. Um, match, matching letters are wired together. Matching letters are wired together. Why is it telling us that matching letters are wired together? So if we put in, P, all that's going to shift over to the right. But then it reflects back up, right? So does it go back through that second layer? So we have P and T. They shift. Up. What does the shift mean, though? If, the, if it's telling us, it's telling us that the matching letters are wired together. Shifts to QE. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Because it's going straight down. So what you're saying is it's connected straight down. It's not that when we go to T, we automatically go to the same spot. It's shifting where it's going. So it's going down to QE. Wait, what? Shift to QE on reflector, then reflector QE bottom to top. Second shift hits FG. I don't know where you're getting the second shift from. How do you get to F? QE. So we go PT, that's gonna shift over one, that's gonna go down to Q and E. EQ is gonna come back up. I'm not understanding. Okay, so PT, I see the shift, okay? So P is inputted, the whole thing shifts over one, right? That's gonna drop it down to QE. Look at QE, fifth column on reflector. Oh, I see, it reflects over to the, oh, I gotcha. I got you. Matching letters are wired together. When it says matching letters are wired together, for me, that means that the T is gonna go down to the Z. Is that reflector shifting? One shift lines it up with G. It may be a one shift thing. I mean, we should we can work we can work backwards from this, right? So we can work backwards from this and Well, first let's look at this. Let's let's remind ourselves what we got here. So you have scramblers up here that you can set initial rotations. Oh, the rotation could be like two. Is that what I'm gonna, like it, you could change. So the first disc rotates on every press. When it reaches a notch in the wheel, it will cause the next disc to rotate. So the second will eventually cause the third disc to rotate. Now our bottom has two reflectors. Let's see how this works first. Can we figure out how this works? The thing that's showing us how it works. So this is Enigma with FFQ JPX. So let's look at our first, as soon as it slides over, we're gonna go from F here. F goes to F, which goes to G, which goes to G there. That doesn't help us. It needs to go to E. I don't know what I'm doing. F down here and then it comes back out because we have to reflect it back, right? The reflector does come out a different spot. It's really important, really important to notice. So we push A and that's showing that it comes out as U. So it goes through the plug board, which can be changed goes through a scrambler and you can see here the scrambler actually oh look at the word the scrambler look at the scrambler the scrambler is sending it into a completely different place i wonder i wonder this help this helps this helps you guys see this i think this helps this is big so when we go down to p we're actually going over to p we're going from p matching letters are wired together so in the scrambler we go down to p we actually go over to p that's gonna take us down to H, which takes us down to H here. Do you see what I mean? 
So you're going down through, and then you're coming back up and through it. So P to P, then we go P to P again. So we don't go down to that T. Matching letters are wired together. I think it's just a coincidence. Look, A, B, C, A through Z, and A through Z, those are just connected. It's, that's just coincidence. They're making it easy for us. So P going down to P, we still go over to P here. No, that D connects to G. That D connects to G, I'm sorry. Then that D connects to G. And that G is G. P to P, P to H, H to H, H to D, D to G, G to G, right? P to P. I think we got it. I think we're good. Here we go. So we're ready now, right? We got Z, Y, D, N, I. Let's solve this. Let's solve this thing. It doesn't say it rotates, but we'll find out soon enough, right? So let's say it doesn't rotate, which is how we got this one. So if we put in Z, which is going to take us to R, right? So we got R. If I'm doing this wrong, well, you know, Y to Y. Then we need to go Y to Y. Y to Y. Y to C. C to C. C to U. U to U. U to A. A to A. So I got R, A. This is not scrambling, by the way. This is without scrambling. If it doesn't equal a word, we're going to have to scramble, ladies and gentlemen. D to D, D to D, D to F, F to F, F to S, S to S. And then S. Wow, all those S's are actually lined up. And then we've got I. I to I. I to I, I to V, V to V, V to W, W to W, W to W. No, W to B. I got Razib. Okay, let's try this again. We got Z. Okay, so we got Z. <laughs> Z goes down to Z. These are connected, so we need to go over to Z. It goes down to J. These are connected, so we need to go to J, which goes to X. X goes back up to Q. Q is connected to Q, so we get Q. Okay, so I think we rotate. I think we're rotating. So we're gonna press down Z, and it's gonna shift the entire shenane to the right. So uh, we press Z, everything shifts. So then we go down to Y, right? So we go down to Y. So Z goes to Y. Y goes over to Y, which is shifted to the right, which goes down to D. Okay. Now, D goes to D, which goes to H, which goes up to F, right? Because that's all shifted. And then F is going to go to F. So, first one is G. Any, any luck with the first one being G? Screw this, man! Ha! Jeez, this game! Plain, tech be plain text begins with U. So when we put in Z, we need to get U. When we put in Z, we need to get U. So Z goes down to A. A takes us over to A, it takes us to D, it takes us down to H. H goes back over to D. D goes to D, goes back up to H. H takes us up to V. V goes over to U. Very well done. Okay. So now we got it. It rotates left. So now we're going to rotate left again on Y. Y is going to rotate. Uh, so we got that as A. So Y is going to go down to A. A is going to take us over two to the left from A here. It just goes down to C. C is going to connect to C down here and go up to U. It is rotated two to the left, right? So this is N. N goes over here, rotate two for L. Woo! Okay, and then A. I, I'm just doing this for the practice now. Um, so then we got I. So we got I and we're going left five. N. N goes over here, but we go left five. Goes down to R. R connects over to R, which connects up to B. And then B connects up to uh, F. 
And F goes to F, and we go left five. One, two, three, four, five, to A. Sick! Okay, well let's uh, let's write this down. Let's write down our QH because we're gonna need to go back to our we're gonna need to go back to our other wall, right? All right, so our code is up there. Now here's our scrambler. Okay, here's here's all our stuff. All right, so okay, the Roman numeral fifteen, which is XV. That's what we know. We know they always start with XV, which means QH equals XV, as Cranky is saying. So what we have to do is find the initial settings where X equals Q. So if we go to X, first let's find out. So Q is right here. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how we get X to equal Q. So you can see we're spelling Enigma. Now this is, this doesn't have the two layers or something. So we'll go Q to R. Q to R is gonna be a shift to the left, right? So to the left, go Q to R. R is going to go down to R. Shift to the left, go down to T. T is going to go over here to this T, which goes up to U, um, which will go up to T. Okay, it's not R. So we got, so not R. Whoops. And F goes up here, which goes to the left to D. So we are not on S. No S. So it is not S. No, not T. J. And that's not X, so it's not U. C goes up to C, which needs to be one, two, three, four, five. Got it! It's B! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, team! Alarm bells! Okay. So. H down here, so we already had our five setting, right? We had our five setting, which means that the initial setting was actually four. The initial setting was actually four to the left. And then we pushed Q, shifted over five. So now we're gonna push H, and it's gonna shift over six. Six left going to V. Which means we're going six to the right on the alphabet, right? On the Because we, we're shifting six to the left. And goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is P. Six, seven, eight. You. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That doesn't seem right. I'm gonna keep going though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, can I guess the word? Hooray! I didn't have to do the whole puzzle because P-U-R-P -P only spells like one thing. Woo! Enigma! Ha! Shiva! Oh! Okay. <gasps> Deep breaths! Oh! Spies have successfully captured a complete Enigma machine. God damn it. And code book. The internal wirings for the remaining scramblers are as follows. The key this message was sent with is... La, we're gonna write all this down. I don't know. How we'll solve this puzzle. It's gonna be so difficult. I don't know what most of these letters mean. Just hoping someone does. Oh yes, please help me solve this puzzle. Oh my God, it is difficult. I'm gonna I'm gonna write some lines down here to make sure because when you have a jumble of a bunch of letters like this. I imagine that can just get really, really terrifying. I think we have we have the plugboard pairs. Exactly. Thank you, Captain Quits. That's exactly what I was thinking. Perfect. I'll show I'll show what, what we're going with here. So swap up 10 pairs of keyboard letters. They've given us what they've swapped. And then we have the scramblers set initial rotations um, of the scramblers. Then you have your plain text input, right? 
Let me finish writing down number three here. But I think we have, so we have our swaps. We have the order, the order of the scramblers. AEB is initial rotation of scramblers. I've just got to write down this scrambler. The plugboard, the plugboard scrambles, you can say, oh, well, when I put in S, I'm actually putting in G. So it scrambles up on the front end. See, here's the plugboard. So the plugboard happens initially before anything else happens. And this is giving us, and this is giving us uh, those, those uh, mix-ups. That's what that is. As long as the machine is set to the correct initial setting, it will decipher a message encrypted using the same settings. The initial setting is therefore the key. The German army used a new key each day. AEB is the key. I sent out top secret code books every month contain the initial Enigma settings. The plug board does mix up those letters. Look at it coming back through. A goes out into the plug board and switches to something else because it's different. And then when it comes back, when we hit that letter coming back in, it switches again. Okay, well, let's just keep going with Z. Let's go through it and maybe we can actually kind of kind of shenagle the bagel. To the top, which is actually gonna go one, two over to Q. And Q is gonna take us directly up. Q is actually L though. So I have ZL, which is definitely wrong. We can do this. So we gotta do right, we gotta do right, left, okay? So let's go in, so we gotta do, so when we come down and we're shifted over, we got to keep track of how much we're shifting. I think I missed some of my shifts when I was doing the other one. Every single time we got to remember that these are shifted. Let's try that again. One more time. One more time. I got L for my second one. So I'm glad to know somebody has. So we're going to stick with that. Now let's see. Let's see if we can just do H like not, not K. H. H goes down when you go right one. Excellent. We got I. I goes over to I here, and then we go left one to M. M comes down here. We go right four, one, two, three, four to A. A is going to connect to A here and go left four, one, two, three, four to U. You come straight down and hits this A, which go right to the B. Okay, I think I got this last time. B is going to connect to B here, but then go left one to this G, which goes down to C. Now C is going to connect over here to this C, which goes to this U. Now U is going to come up to this W and go right one to L. L is going to come over to this L and go left one to K. K is going to connect up to this B, which is going to go right one, two, three, four to M. M is going to connect to this M and then go one, two, three, four to I. I is going to go straight up to this F. We're on the first one, so this needs to go right one to B. Now B is going to connect up to this B, and it's going to go left one to A. I get A, which is actually B. Don't forget, you did get AL, but it's BL, right? It's BL? Because those are swapped? Best part of the song. Right? One, two, three to L. L is going to connect up to L and go one, two, three to I. I come straight up, and I think we have BLI. B L I and go one two three four to M M's to M one two three four to I Enigma machine, baby!